All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another another reaction. I know more. I'm not done. You know, PlayStation event, a lot of things get shown, and sometimes I need to rewatch them. And uh, this is gonna be the first one I'm, I'm recording. I might put up the Spider-Man one first. I don't know. Uh, I'm doing three re-reactions. I should do four, but I'm gonna do three. I might do four. I might do four, but uh, I really want to rewatch some of these trailers in 4K because. If you don't know, my, my computer's not the best. I'm not gonna lie. It's not it's not great. So I could probably stream it in or watch it in 1080p. I do stream in 1080p, but I could probably watch it in 1080p. But I usually keep to the 720 uh, to be safe. I could probably do 1080p. Maybe next time I will for a smaller stream. But uh, I usually keep it 720 just in case. Uh, mainly because like it doesn't really. I mean, before my computer. But another reason is because it doesn't really matter because the quality is always so bad for the streams. It's not that the, it's the quality itself. The quality is definitely better. It's just the compression is so bad. And every time I'm like, this game looks beautiful. I could tell through the compression. But I always go, I need to rewatch this. I need to rewatch it. And this, Dragon's Dogma and Spider-Man 2 or 3, I definitely, definitely really want to watch again. Um, so uh, the other one was MGS. But that one's going to be a CG trailer anyway. So I might, I might not do that one. That's, I think that's all CG anyway. So, um, anyway, let's get to it. This gameplay for uh, reveal trailer for Island Wake 2. Uh, I might pause here and there because I've already watched it. So, watch my first reaction if you want to see my first reaction to it, obviously. My actual first reaction. So, let's go. Hell yeah, baby. <gasps> Island Wake 1 was rated T. So, I'm trapped here. That's nice to see. Controls right now, though. Okay. No, controls right T, I think. Like. right to escape. Oh man, every time we see Alan Wake in something is a step forward. Look at him. The darkness. Very counter reason. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Everybody else is saying. It's right up your alley. Love the Sam Lake. One of their own. Oh, I think I wait. It's right up your alley. It is. How did I, I'm a freaking idiot. I didn't notice that was freaking James McCaffrey doing the voice. He's the guy that does uh, Max Payne. He's also in every... I, he was in the original Alan Wake. He was uh, Thomas Zane. But he's in like every... Con I mean, every... Uh, he was in Control also. Um, he was the director, I think. They were the first director. I forgot his name. Um, but he's in every Re Remedy game. Anyway. The victim was That's 100% him. I was too busy probably losing my shit and not paying attention to the, to the dialogue. That's why these are important. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Okay. So you knew Alan and it was, he was chasing a writer. And I love that they gave him Sam Lake's face. That's the guy, uh, Sam Lake's face, I see, right? Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. That oh, looks so Go good. Message. It's for us. <laughs> right there. Like, that's so good. He gets to voice Max Payne again. Then what? Text is about us. We were all trapped in a horror story. That's what Max Payne's gonna look like in the remakes. I didn't. Even... What the fuck? <laughs> my, I'm blowing my brain now. All right, sorry for the pause. I had to go do something real quick. All right, let's continue. The horror let's story is dead. All right, here we go. This is where I, where I really wanted to see this gameplay. FBI, FBI, FBI. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I love seeing shit scattered everywhere in a room in a video game. It always looks so pleasing. Look at the tiles on the ceiling. Like, some of them are off. Oh, this game looks good. The lighting is awesome. It's living up. Living up to Alan Wake name. So, yeah, we have a new playable character along with Alan Wake also. Which is actually a great idea. Okay, let's just see. Um, great idea because Alan Wake narrating someone else's journey is is such a good idea besides his own something oh man that shot alan oh, what's up, bitch? dude that looks so good that looks real they do put uh real people uh sometimes or actually pretty much all their games they do like live action in some small way. Alan Wake obviously had, uh, what was his name, Mr. Smiley? Was that his name? Or was the evil version of Alan Wake? Or Scratch, Mr. Scratch. Not Mr. Smiley. Um, or was it just called Scratch? I think it was Mr. Scratch. Uh, and then of course, the Max Payne had the cutscenes where it was just comics, but it was live action 
you know, in the live action. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, Alan Wake, I already said that. Uh, Control had uh, the uh, doctor, who was also the same actor that plays Alan Wake. Um, Dr. Darling? Is that his name? Um, Quantum Break obviously had the episodes, uh, the, the TV show. Uh, and then, um, and then Crossfire was a piece of shit. Anyway, <laughs> it's, 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 actually, didn't Crossfire have some live action stuff in there? Yeah, I think it did, actually. It might have, I don't know. I played one of the campaigns. It was a piece of shit. Uh, Elderwood. Okay, so Elderwood's the place we're going to this time. Oh, man. Yo, the city shot. Oh, my God. It looks so good. I'm so glad they went fucking straight up survival horror. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Illumination. Uh-oh. No, you, there better not be any minions in here. Something important. Dude, this scene coming up now. Oh, man, that's scary. Dude, fuck that. No, no, no. It has way too many arms. It has too many legs, too. Right. Or, or arms on the legs. Some anime shit. What is this? All right, I'm going to get rid of this sometimes. Oh, it has like a head. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a, a mirror reflection. Not right. Nice shotgun. I felt that. Dude, I'm going to get this on PS5. I mean, it's coming to Xbox also. We already know that. Uh, only problem right now, uh, if you ha haven't heard, this is a digital only, which I don't even want to get into. Why, wow, that's fucking Easy stupid. Now. I want a physical. I want a collector's edition. First mission. things first. What's your name? Bitch, I'm Alan Wake. I wish he said that. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Alan Wake. <laughs> Two. <laughs> ah, ah. Ooh, baby. Fuck yeah, it looks so good. It looks scary as shit. Dude, Alan Wake 1 scared the shit out of me. That's not a survival horror game. That's an action horror, I guess you could call it. Oh man, that game looks tense as shit. There's too many horror games. There's just too many that I want to play. Like, uh, we, Dude, we even have that new uh, Alone in the Dark, which it has like a showcase tomorrow, which I know is going to make me shit my pants. And it's probably going to come out this year. And, I, 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 and of course, Resident Evil 4 VR is probably coming out this year. Rest in peace to my brave little heart. Brave little heart. All right, so that was awesome. Oh, man. The gameplay. The gameplay tease. I can't wait until we get... You know what? My favorite thing about E3, and I'm sad it's gone, is just watching gameplay. People showing gameplay, whatever it be. IGN, GameSpot. IGN does do their thing. I think Game Fest or something. Or no, is that what... They have something called Game Fest or something like that too. It's not Summer Game Fest. It was called like IGN Game Fest or something like that. Game, game, whatever. Game on. I don't know what the fuck it's called. So that's cool. But I loved E3 time. I watched so much gameplay. It was so much fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. Just like I'll watch gameplay. Fuck it. I'll watch that. I'll watch this. I'll watch that. Even if nobody watched my reactions to it, I would always watch. I don't care. Have a good time. Have a good time. Uh, anyway. Alan Wake 2, gameplay reveal trailer, sick. So sick. Anyway, that's it.